waving the flag of Texas, Tojo Yamamoto, followed by Eric Embry and the flamboyant one. Can't be so happy about what's been going on here this week in the USWA, are you? No, the old day, so happy. Now, I got a whole lot on my mind, but what I want to do first, I want to get referee Paul Neighbors out here. Paul Neighbors, I want you to come out here. Yeah, I'm upset with you, but Dave, I'm not going to beat him up. I'm not going to hit him. I just want to ask him some questions. Uh, you've got everything under control, Dave. Keep, keep your hands off of him. I don't even know. He, he doesn't have to come out here. After all, he's an official. Come on out here, neighbors. While we're waiting for him, let me ask you a couple questions, Dave. You know, the referee stopped the match of mine with Jerry Lawler because I was bleeding too bad. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of got me confused. You know, since I've been here, would you say that Eddie Marlin, Paul Neighbors, Frank Morrell, you know, anybody with Jarrett Promotions loves me? No, no. Would you say they even like me? Do they even like me? Well, probably not. What, what about you? Do you like me? I, be honest. Do you like me? Be honest. Be honest. I'd just as soon not be interviewing you right now. That, 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 that's what's got me concerned. Come on over here, neighbors. Because... Come here, neighbors. Don't worry, I ain't Keep gonna hands beat off. you up. I ain't gonna hit you. I ain't gonna do nothing. I, I wanna ask you some questions. That's important. I, no, I ain't gonna do nothing. Come here. I'm gonna ask you a question. You love me? You like me? No. Do you hate me? You don't hate me either. Well, let me ask you a question. You were referee in Mike Lawler's match. You probably. Uh, the superior, the senior referee for Jared Promotions. And I used to think he was a decent one. But what I don't understand, neighbors, is me and Lawler are beating each other's faces half off. He's bleeding, and I'm bleeding. And the next thing I know, I hear ding, 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 and you raise Lawler's hand. Why? Eric, as a referee, I have several jobs to do. One of them, is the shoulders a pin? You got one, two, three. That's real you intelligent. You throw a man over the top rope, power driver, you disqualify him. That's real intelligent, too. <laughs> the other thing is the welfare of the wrestlers. If one of them gets hurt, knocked out, gets too much bleeding, I have to the stop the welfare. match. welfare. So you're That's standing right. out here telling me you was concerned about my welfare. As much blood you as you had coming from your health. head. Yes. <laughs> I you say you don't like me, you don't love me, but you're concerned about me. You was worried about me. You was afraid Lawler was going to hurt me or something? Yep. Yep. No, I wasn't worried about oh. Lawler going to hurt me. You're kind of addicting yourself. But let me ask you this. If you was at your home and say a burglar come in, you got any kids? You got an old lady? Yes. Well, I don't see how as ugly as you are, but anyway. Say you had a couple kids at home and a burglar come in and shot them. Bang, bang. Shot them dead, man. And then they, the burglar took advantage of your wife while you was watching. And then here comes a policeman in. And that policeman starts beating that burglar up. Would you say, oh, whoa, Mr. Policeman, that's police brutality. Let's get, pull him off, pull him off. Let's stop this. Let him have a fair trial. Would you do that? No, I wouldn't do that. Well, what are you saying? I don't understand. You don't like, you don't like me, you don't care about me, but you're concerned about my health. Is that well, Mr. Dan, now, now let me explain something to you. Because... With friends like this, Dave, I don't ever need no enemies around this place. What I want you to do, I want you to not care about my welfare, not care about my well-being, not care about my health. I actually want you to hate me because I don't ever want you to stop a match again, man, because I had Lawler beat half to death, and you know it, Eddie Marlin knows it, Lawler knows it, and all these ignorant people know that Jerry Lawler could never beat me if I wrestled him 25 times a day. So they cocked up this, this way to raise Lawler's hand, technical victory, and goes down in the records books, Lawler beating Embry. Well, neighbors, I want you to hate me. I want you to hate me just like a burglar that come into your house and tied you up, made you watch him have fun with your old lady. That shot your kids. And you know how I'm gonna do that? You know how I'm gonna make sure you never stop one of my matches again? You know how I'm gonna do that? Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. This is ridiculous. Okay. Scissors. Uh, what are you doing? What is he doing? He's cutting his hair. Somebody in the back. Come on out here. We, we, we need some something. help for Paul. Oh, he's cutting his hair. Come on, Embry. You came out here saying you weren't going to... 
Uh, there's some help. Eddie Marlin. Yeah, Eddie Marlin's got him by the hair. Hey, you dumb old man. You just made the biggest mistake of your life by laying those fingers on me because I'm fixing to beat your old brains out. Now, you just wait a minute, Eric Henry. Let me tell you something. I told you out here a couple of weeks ago, if you ever lay a hand on me, you better bring your lunch because I will fight you and it's going to take you all day to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hey, am I dreaming? Am I, did he know see now, old man? Did it, Am I what? Did he say he's going to fight me? He, he said you put your hands on him and he will get you. <laughs> You're going to fight me? Let me show you something, old man. I had a grandfather like you one time that made me mad and I slapped him so hard my mama wouldn't talk to me. It's real simple. You're an old man. You're a coward, and you're a liar, Eddie Martin. You wait just a minute, Eric Hammond. You're right. I'm an old man, but I am a man. I'm not a coward, and I'm not a liar, and I will fight you, oh, Eric Hammond. Oh, All you got to do is put I your hands on me. No settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Uh, yeah, now you want to settle down, yeah. Hey, I'm going to prove that you're a coward, and I'm going to prove that you're a liar, Marley, just like that goose standing beside you. Neighbors, I'm going to shave that head of yours, man, to make you look like Frank Morrell, where well, you don't ever like me again, and you don't ever stop one of my matches, be it with Lawler or anybody. So you know what? You're going to fight me. Well, I've got a little proposition for both of you guys. Because both of you guys together can't beat me, man. Both of you together in a match against me. Yeah, me. The United States of Texas representing Tennessee, man. And if you guys beat me, you guys can shave my head slicker than an onion. But if I beat you, then I shave your head, and I shave your head completely right down to the skin, man. Now, I know he ain't got no nuts, because you are a coward, you're a liar, and you're a head bit, Eddie Marlin. Now, either you, hey, you don't have to go back in the back and ask nobody, do you? Because you're the big bad matchmaker, man. So either you tell Dave Brown, Yes, he can have that match. Are you turn around and look at that camera and you tell all those people out in TV land, I am an old man, I am a coward, and I am afraid of Embry, and I'm the biggest liar that Tennessee's ever seen. Let me tell you something, Eric Emory. You hit part of it right. I'm an old man, and I know that I'm not in the shape to get in the ring and wrestle. But I made a statement that I will fight you because I'm not a liar and I'm not a coward. Now you come out here and you got a pretty sharp mind. You get somebody mad and upset and you want to trick them into something. I can beat both of you at the same time. Right, listen to Goof, listen to Goof. You may be able to whoop me because you're a wrestler. I'm just a referee. But me and somebody else, you can't whoop. Oh, 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 he just took it up. Uh, now, coward, put up or shut up, Marlon. It's all you. Turn around and look at that camera and tell him. Tennessee, I'm the biggest liar you ever seen. I'm a coward, I'm afraid of Embry, and I'm not going to wrestle him. Let me tell you something, Eric Embry. Like I said, I'm not a coward and I'm not a liar, but I am an old man, but I'm not a scared youth. And I'm not going to turn around and look at all these people that's watching and make myself into a liar and a coward. So I'm going to accept that match. <laughs> The and then let's make sure it's you. all right, because you're the big matchmaker, man. You guys in the ring at the same time against me. Two on one. You beat me, I'll shave my head. I beat you, I get to shave every little dirty hair off of those two Tennessee heads. That's right. right? Just remember one thing. I've been in this wrestling business for 40 years. I can tell. And I've had a lot of hair matches. And I've never yet had to sit down in the ring and get my head shaved. And I don't intend doing it this time. <laughs> now, and I want you to think of something else, Eric Emery. When I pin you, and just the second they shave your head, then you are fired on the spot. A little extra stipulation. The matchmaker can do that, too. He's going to fire me. Yeah, he's going to fire you. <laughs> you think that's the last time I'm going to be in Memphis anymore? <laughs> oh, he's going to fire me. 
No, no. It's going to be a glorious night, Monday night. Because there's going to be two bald-headed people running around. They're going to be so embarrassed, they bro. And you know what? You might be next, man. All right. The match is signed. It doesn't do any good to threaten Michael and I. You've threatened Eddie. As Eddie said, he's got to give him one thing. He's, he's, he outsmarted uh, a little. Well, I don't know if he outsmarted him or not. But he may anyway, have he's got himself the, into a corner, too. He's got the match booked. We'll see what happens. We'll be back here in just a moment.